yesterday on the official channel of Unreal Engine there was a presentation of the fifth version. In this video I want to talk about my emotions and my first experience using this version. I'll tell you what bugs and what difficulties I encountered. And is it really possible to use this version for real projects? I did the test on my current project. Anyone can test it. To do this, go to the Unreal 5th tab in the launcher. Download Early Access. If the download does not start, then exit the launcher in the tray, relaunch it. I will immediately nod the design. The design has certainly become more modern and comfortable. At first, it naturally seems not so convenient, because it is not customary yet. But after walking one day, I understand that now they have improved usability twice. In the fourth version, the same scene works quite fast. You see 60 FPS. And in the fifth version, it sags two or more times. Lumen isn't turned on. And you can see that this technology does not affect FPS. FPS remained the same as before enabling. That is, now before turning it on, we turn on Lumen. And this does not affect the FPS at all. Megascan Bridge is now built right into the interface. You can enter the application from the Unreal, select the desired asset, drag and drop it into the scene after waiting for it to load. The object will appear, but the only thing I noticed is that you need to specify the default material for the material, which is created by the Megascan itself. For some reason, when transferring, it is simply lost. I made the assumption that Nanite does not work with Megascan materials, so instead of this function I chose the stock resolution geometry. But when importing, everything turned out to be the same. The material came, but there was no material in the parent. So I manually selected the standard Megascan material in the same way. This corrected this situation. Now you see an artifact that occurs when a nanite object and the material that uses the masked function is in contact. We turn on the display of those objects to which the nanite is applied, and these objects are now displayed as colored triangles. If we bring a tree to nanite, then the tree will simply lose. As it were, its material, it will turn gray. This is because the tree uses masked material. If we use on the object nanite pixel depth, a function that makes transparency at the edges of the object, then we will see that the object becomes completely transparent. And not only at the edges. In general, I like the luminosity of the lumen technology. When the function is turned on, the scene becomes smooth and works correctly. There is no feeling of fake. I think Lumen is great for outdoor landscape scenes, where more detail is required, counter shadows, such as architectural rendering, still need to bake light. This is especially true for the interior, which I will show below. I assume that the drop in FPS is directly related to the new technology, since it works on ultra-fast hard drives that are only available on Sony PlayStation and are not available for sale. But I will say that lowering FPS does not distract me at all, because the program is still working quite stably. Now let's talk about the interior. I will open the student scene that was done in version 4. The scene is well optimized, the light is baked quickly, the quality itself, you see, looks very realistic. We see contour shadows, shadow details, we perfectly see the light and shadow, and it certainly gives the scene realism. Unfortunately, I was unable to enable light baking so that his light mask plugin, which is currently built in, is available. But with all the functions that are necessary for it to work turned on, I still could not start back in the light. But we must not forget that this is only the first available fifth version, which is still naturally raw. Soon, I think they will fix it. Backing is still necessary, as Lumen does not give the results we would like. Personally, I will be waiting for GPU light mask will work. 
and now you see Lumen at work. After all, the light is well calculated. There are also minimal counter shadows that are quite large. They are not as thin as we would like. As the quality improves, the overall light improves, but the details do not appear that so strongly give realism. This is considered especially in the bedroom, where is currently a lack of light. In the back version, we saw that there were a lot of shadows from the plates, cross shadows, there were details in the shadows, but that was all gone. Of course, a very cool feature, a very cool technology that will make it easier to develop, for example, games. But for architectural visualization, we still need details in the shadows, we still need realism. So far, I'm only talking about the interior. Let's see how the light is baked on the CPU, since I said that on the GPU I still couldn't get the bake on. Baking on the processor, nothing wasn't changed. It is considered a long time and not as high quality as on a video card. On the quality of the preview, the light was miscalculated in 3 minutes. It became brighter. We see cotton wool, we see artifacts. We start the calculation on the quality of production. This time the light baked longer naturally because the quality was higher. But again, the CPU as usual did not solve the problems of cotton wool. Artifacts and the quality leaves much to be desired. Of course, as you can imagine, the GPU copes with the task much better. It does it faster and better. Note that self-luminous materials work perfectly. This is a demonstration of the same lumen and self-luminous material. The renewal of light occurs at lightning speed. If you change the intensity, it is also immediately updated. The light of light takes effect instantly. What conclusion would I draw? Even though Unreal 5th version is undoubtedly a breakthrough, it is still necessary to use the technologies that were there before. That is, this is the optimization of the model and the correct baking of the light. I will continue to work on the exterior scene that I showed you and see what result I achieve. As for the interior, I will continue to bake light in my commercial projects. I have not yet tested how Lumen technology works in a packaged project. If Epic Games will finalize the shadows, make them more detailed and more realistic compared to the baked version, then I will use Lumen. While all these artifacts, flickers do not give the correct sense of light. But a start has been made. The developers announced that the full version will be available in early 2022. And now you can open and test the program, which is what I advise you. Share your tests and opinions. Goodbye.